also your dog should have access to water in the crate. But what I found is every time I put a little water dish in there, little Jack here spills it over and makes a big mess. So what I did, which is a neat trick, is I got a hamster bottle and I filled it up with water and attached it to here. And all I had to do was touch the bottle to Jack's mouth just one time, the little metal ball, and he always knows to go back there for water. So it's a neat trick, there's no more mess, and, and now Jack, you're a hamster, you're not a puppy. How do you feel about that? Oh, you don't like that, okay. So it's a neat trick to keep your crate clean and keep water from getting everywhere. So here's how to use the crate to help housebreak your puppy. And after your puppy has gotten used to the crate, when he whines or whimpers or barks, take him out because he might have to take care of business. And here's what you want to be aware of. If the puppy is 12 weeks and under, then take him out and put him right on the wee wee pad inside your house. Because puppies at this young age shouldn't be taken outside yet because their immune systems are not quite formed yet. And they're in a weakened state and susceptible to all kinds of germs. If your puppy is 12 weeks or older, then you can take him right outside to take care of business. So he learns that's where he needs to go. Try to take him to the same area each time so his scent triggers him to go there again. Also, it's important to remember to remove any collar or harness from your dog because they can get caught on the crate bars and be a choking hazard. There really should be nothing in the crate except the water bottle, some soft, comfortable bedding, and maybe some stuffed toys for him. No food or bones. Here are some common questions pertaining to crate training. Is using a crate humane? It absolutely is. Remember, dogs are instinctively den animals and they like to have a safe place to bed down in. And actually, according to the Humane Society of the United States, the crate becomes their refuge and safe place. It's their den, and they'll naturally go to it during times of stress, like thunderstorms or other loud sounds. What are the advantages of using the crate? Well, it makes house training easier. And you also know your dog is safe and not chewing up your house. So it provides protection for your dog and peace of mind for you. And once he gets accustomed to it, he's very content in his den. And it also helps to reassure the puppy and strengthen the bond with his new owner. And you will also be able to hear the puppy when he whines and needs to go out. And then you can take him right to a wee wee pad so he learns that's where he needs to go and not somewhere else on your floor. And what size crate should I get? Get a size that accommodates your dog when he is an adult. You can get one with a divider panel. The divider helps eliminate some extra room in the crate. Remember, dogs don't like to soil their own den. How long should I leave my dog in the crate? Puppies under six months of age shouldn't be crated for more than three or four hours at a time, according to the Humane Society, because they can't really hold their bladder very well. So if you have a new puppy and you start crating him, then expect to hear him whine in the middle of the night so he can go out to relieve himself. Maybe you can give him a tiny snack after that, then he should go back to sleep when you put him back in the crate within a few minutes. And what should I do about potty accidents? Well, accidents are inevitable with puppies. If there's an accident inside the crate, just remove the bedding and completely wash it so there's no scent at all. You want to do that because the scents are powerful cues for the puppy to go there again. Also, on your own rug or flooring, make sure you have a good product to remove the scent there as well because you're removing the cue that could trigger the pup to go there again. What about separation anxiety? Don't use the crate as a remedy for separation anxiety. Separation anxiety problems can be resolved with counter conditioning and desensitizing procedures. We'll discuss that in more detail in another lecture. And the types of crates that you can get? There are several different types. Some are plastic, some are metal or fold up, and some are collapsible fabric with a rigid bottom. And some are also anti-anxiety crates. So choose the kind that you like best but it's important to get the right size crate. And that's great training. It's a great way to help housebreak your pup. It gives you peace of mind and it keeps your dog safe when you're out of the house.